Most modern versions of macOS come pre-installed with Git, and I'll show you how to check for it on your Mac, but in case it's not installed, I'll also show you how to do that too. Use Spotlight to open terminal, type git dash dash version, and if you see something like this, then that means you already have Git installed on your system. You can also check to see where Git is installed by doing which Git. If Git is not installed on your system, you have a few options. Git-scm.com recommends Homebrew, Mac ports, and Xcode, among other options for installing Git. The problem with installing Git via Homebrew is that Homebrew actually depends on the Xcode command line tools, so in my opinion, the best way to get Git is directly from Xcode command line tools. Sometimes checking the Git version on Mac will return this helpful output that tells you exactly how to install Xcode command line tools, so let's do that. You might see this pop up, so just click install and agree to the license agreement. Installation will take some time, and when it's done, it will say that the software was installed. Hit done, and now when we do git dash dash version, we see something like this. I'm now going to show you an example of how to clone a git repository. I'm going to go to my GitHub page and open up my video flow project, and by clicking on this code dropdown and copying the repository's URL, I can simply go back to my command prompt and do git clone, and then paste the URL of the repository. Executing that will download all of the files of the repository on your computer as you can see right here. If you found this video helpful, you're going to love my introduction to Git video right here, which will teach you all of the basic Git commands that you need to know. So go subscribe and then check that out.